been a it's been a mission, um, but finally I've got the uh, collars fixed to the to the body. So these are the actual finished um, articles, um, which uh, took forever to make, um, but they work, and I'm quite happy with them. Um, yeah. So uh, and they're quite sturdy, which is good because uh, they're going to get a lot of punishment, I guess, when I start moving them around, moving the Dalek around from place to place. Um, but yeah, I can even like pull it by itself because it's quite strong. I still need to um, put the. There's, there's a couple of strips that need to go, you know, two strips that cover the joins. Um, things like that, and around the front as well, the same deal. Um, just to, I just need to um, put a cover which goes over a strip there and a, a strip that covers this one as well. And that's pretty much the the collar's done apart from the painting, so I'll spray paint them this probably the same colour as, as the rest of the Dalek, and um, do another blog on that, video blog. Uh, but yeah, it looks they look pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with those, and um, just surprised that they came out as well as they did. And um, But they were just so hard to cut out, I mean, we, we started with templates like this and then trying to you know actually physically cut them out of plastic cladding um, without any power tools was a real mission and I was kind of at my wits end trying to get it done and each one took about an hour to cut out I guess something like that maybe, maybe more um, there didn't seem to be any easy way of doing it even if I scored the, you know, like scored lines and tried to cut them out using scoring tools. It, it, there's no quick way it would have been achieved. Um, but it's looking good, and um, just very happy with that. And then once it's spray painted, it'll look even better, I guess. And it's going to be quite a beat up looking dialect anyway, so I'm not going to agonize too much over any, any imperfections because it's going to be a Genesis dialect. To a certain degree, with a an NSD base and um, the movie beaker of dome lights and stuff like that, so it should look, look quite a cool Dalek when it's done. Uh, so yeah, um, very chuffed for that. It was also quite a mission. Just I've got very small screws um, attaching attaching it to the blocks, and the best way I found of attaching it. Um, was to use sticky back um, uh, gaffer tape just to, you know, you've you got your blocks on, you might be able to see the wooden blocks, there's, there's the wooden blocks, but you basically have gaffer tape attached and double-sided um, gaffer tape on the blocks, and then you basically put gaffer tape on each one, double-sided, and then you basically wrap your, your, uh, your collars onto the blocks and then just secure them each end with some more gaffer tape and just tape it all up and then what jig it about and once you've got the the look of it right and you've got the the kind of spacing right and you've got it all positioned nicely then you can just start sticking screws in and then um you know making sure it's all fitting nicely so uh yeah quite sharp for that so um I'm gonna go home now and have some dinner because it's quite late. It must be nine o'clock ish now, nine o'clock at night. I do tend to finish most nights um, quite late um, because it's just quieter and there's not so many people rushing around here, uh, setting up alarms and all that. But um, yeah, it's looking quite cool and very, very chuffed. Even though it was a mission to get it done. Um, it, it is looking the biz, I think. It looks quite good in the camera anyway, so I think I'm onto a winner or whatever. But um, 
yeah, it should look quite cool when it's all finished and painted up and with a little bit of scrapey battle damage or whatever. Scrapey paint battle damage. But generally it's um yeah, looking cool.